What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Aaron Brown, professional pitcher with the Oakland Athletics, and this is Athlete Life. All right guys, before we dive in today, I wanna to let you know that this channel is a newer channel. I just started it last year. My goal with this channel is to help you guys develop at an earlier age and give you tips, tricks, and vlogs to help you guys understand what it's like to be a professional athlete, a professional baseball player, and things that you might not understand quite yet that I can help explain to you guys what to expect once you guys have reached that division one level and then hopefully into your professional career as well, getting drafted and working your way up towards the big leagues. So with that being said, let's dive right into 10 pitching goals that I think will help every single one of you pitchers out there get better and give yourself a goal to hit every time you take the mound. These are things that are going to help you put up better numbers, have more strikeouts, more weak contact, and better ERAs, and just things that are going to make you better overall as a pitcher. So if you're not a pitcher, that's okay. Just know that I'm here to help you guys as well with some other content that I will be putting out. All right, guys, pitching goals. These are goals that I set for myself back in 2019. I was still pitching with the Philadelphia Phillies organization, and I was getting ready for a big year in double a and during spring training we had a pitchers meeting and we go over specific things that are going to help each and every one of us get better and go out there and have a successful season if you are new to spring training just know that that's something that's going to happen when you guys reach the professional level. There's a lot of meetings. All right, I wanna break this up into five short-term goals and five long-term goals for you as a pitcher. Let's start with five short-term goals that will help you develop today, tomorrow, this week. These are things that I think can be attained in the present time. So let's start with number one. Number one goal, short-term, 75% of the time, first pitch strikes. That will allow you to open up endless possibilities of how you wanna attack a hitter. You get that first pitch over for a strike, the ball is in your court you have the advantage. The importance of throwing a first pitch strike is huge when it comes to facing the best hitters in the world. If you fall behind and you have to lay a fastball over the zone for a strike, it's probably not going to come back. These hitters are the best in the world for a reason. They do not miss. Number two, you need to establish command of the fastball to both sides of the plate. This is something I think should be dominated by the time you reach Division I college. A lot of high school pitchers struggle with having fastball command in both sides of the plate. By the time you reach Division I college, you should be able to command both halves of the plate. Some guys can even command the outer thirds of the plate with the fastball, which is excellent. That is going to be huge for you guys that want to move forward in your career as a pitcher, and it's going to help you when you start facing the better hitters in the professional levels. Number three, you need to establish a fourth pitch. Okay, most pitchers might have a fastball, changeup, and a curveball or a slider. Mess around with a fourth pitch, whether that may be a cutter, sinker, a knuckleball. I know it might not be a pitch that you use all the time, but hey, it's another weapon you can add to your arsenal. Why not add a fourth pitch and just throw it during catch play every day, develop it, throw it in your bullpens once in a while, and if it's a good pitch, use it in a game. 0-2 count, throw it. Try and be nasty with it. Why not? Moving on to four. You guys need to develop the ability to read a hitter's swing. There's a lot that goes into reading a hitter swing, but specifically, you need to be able to pick up the little things that hitters are doing consistently with their at-bats. Okay, is this hitter on the plate or is he off the plate? Is he short, tall, short arms, long arms? Does he like to attack the first pitch fastball away, out over the plate or in? You guys need to be able to see these things as you face the same hitters over and over. And take notes. After a game, go back, write it down. Say, hey, this guy I faced started with the first pitch fastball. This guy stands off the plate, close to the plate. You need to be able to read hitters' tendencies and read their swing. So that's going to be very beneficial as you you guys get to D1 college and even into the pros. Before every single series, we sit down with our pitching coach and our manager. And we go over the entire lineup of hitters. That brings me to number five of the short-term goals. Attack hitters on 0-2 and 1-2. Pitch to contact. Stop throwing waste pitches. Waste pitches are a thing of the past. Trust me. No hitter is going to swing at a pitch over their head. They're not going to chase pitches that bounce 10 feet in front of the plate. Stop wasting pitches. All you're doing is adding to your pitch count and that's going to take you out of the game earlier. 0-2, 1-2, Make a competitive pitch that starts on the edge of the zone and breaks off, or starts on the inside part of the plate and breaks off. I've seen more and more pitchers throw fastballs on the corners with 0-2 counts and 1-2 counts than ever before this past couple years. Make competitive pitches and let hitters get themselves out, because they will. You make a good pitch, a hitter's gonna chase and get themselves out. Stop wasting pitches, 
attack hitters. Okay, those are five short-term goals I wanted to share with you guys that I think can be attained by anybody. If you guys are watching this video, write these things down. These are things that you should be working on every single time you throw a bullpen, every single time you face hitters. Now I wanna move on to five long-term goals as a pitcher. These are things that I think can benefit any pitcher long-term. And why these are long-term is because they take a little bit longer to develop. Number one, be able to throw three pitches for strikes. You know you can throw your fastball for a strike. You know you should be able to throw a changeup for a strike. Okay, sometimes the curveball slider is a little bit tougher of a pitch to throw for a strike but as you throw it more and more in your bullpens against hitters live bps you guys should be able to attack the hitter with that third pitch in any count being able to have the confidence in a curveball or a slider throwing it three two with runners on base that is going to be huge for you guys as you move forward in your professional careers and start facing some of the better hitters in baseball. I can't even count how many 3-2 curveballs or sliders I've thrown in my career so far. And I've only been pitching since 2017. So be able to throw all three pitches for strikes in any count. Number two, for those of you that wanna be a starter, you need to develop the stamina to be a starter. You can't just go out there and expect to throw six shutout innings every time, okay? Sometimes you're gonna have grindy innings that you're gonna have three runners on base and you're gonna give up a couple runs, you're gonna throw a lot of pitches that's tough to get out of an inning and then take a five minute break and then go back out there and do it again you need to develop the stamina to be able to do that for five six innings and how we do that is your lifting program your running your conditioning diet the foods that you put in your body before every start it's all important things to go over if you're trying to become a starter and develop stamina to go out there and throw five six seven innings every single game okay if you don't have the stamina you're gonna get tired and then you're not gonna be able to figure out why isn't my fastball located on the outside corner of the plate. Why isn't my slider breaking to the back foot? Okay, these are all things that are going to affect you if you do not have the stamina to go out there and throw 100 pitches every outing. Let's go to number three. Be able to get guys out within one or two pitches. Now, I know anybody can go out there and throw a fastball and the guy's hacking first pitch and he pops out or he rolls over to short. I understand that, but what I mean by this is, you know a guy is swinging early. I have a sinker. I'm gonna throw this guy a first pitch sinker away and see if he swings over the top of it. Now, I still have to execute that pitch. It's important that I'm bringing this up because one to two pitch outs are crucial in the event that you want to go a complete game or eight inning shutout or whatever it might be to help your bullpen have a day off. This is something that the best pitchers in the world do very, very well. They know the hitter they're facing. They know if they're going to swing first pitch and they know what pitch will get them out if they execute it first pitch of the at-bat. So number three, one to two pitch outs. Let's go to number four. Minimize full count at-bats. This will help you have more strikeouts because you'll eliminate walks. By eliminating 3-2 counts, you're gonna eliminate walks. The latest count you should get into is a 2-2 count. I know sometimes you miss a pitch here and there. Oh shoot, I fell behind 2-0, now I have to battle back, get 2-1, 2-2, might throw another ball, now you're 3-2. I get it, it happens. I've done it, the best pitchers in the world have done it, it's part of the game. If you can minimize the 3-2 counts, it will tremendously help your numbers, your season, your career, and your arm for that matter. You're not gonna be throwing quite as many pitches. And number five, establish a consistent approach to pitching. Now, this is gonna look different for everybody. What I mean is, if you're a guy that needs to go out there and have a bulldog mentality, like I'm gonna attack these guys, I'm better than these guys, I believe in my ability, you're out there huffing and puffing, you got good energy, you're psyched, keep that mentality every time you take the mound. If you're someone like myself and you need to stay relaxed and under control and focus on your breathing, then you need to go out there, take the mound, and in your head say, relax, breathe, stay under control, don't try and do too much. That's where I need you guys to figure out what kind Kind of mental approach you have to pitching and going out there and competing on the mound. If your approach is not consistent every outing, every outing is gonna look different. That's a promise. If you do not keep that same mental approach and stuff starts to go wrong, what do you do now? You're not in the right mindset, you're not having the same approach, it's gonna cause a lot of problems. You should have a consistent mental approach and that is gonna help you guys tremendously over the course of your career and if you're still in college, it's gonna help you dominate the D1 level and get yourself into a position that is much better for the draft and much better for entering your professional career out of college. All right, guys, so those are 10 pitching goals that I've put out for you. I'm stoked for you guys. Don't forget to leave this video a like if it was helpful in any way, shape, or form. Also, if you know somebody that's looking for help with their pitching, make sure to share this video with them and share this channel with them. I love doing this. I love putting out helpful videos. I also do vlogs from time to time. I also do just fun stuff baseball related. So if this is the kind of stuff you're looking forward to, if you need help with baseball, leave your questions in the comments below. With all that being said, guys, I really appreciate you tuning in for this video. If you guys have not already, hit that subscribe button so you don't 
don't miss any upcoming videos. I'm still in Mexico playing winter ball. It's been awesome. If you guys want to tag along with my personal career, subscribe, hit the notifications bell. I really appreciate any and all support as I develop this channel. Make sure you share it with all your teammates, your friends, your buddies, and uh, anybody that enjoys professional athlete lifestyle or professional baseball. So I appreciate all of you guys. Have a great rest of your day and God bless.